Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, hi, my name is Nishita. I upload videos on a lot of product reviews, mainly foundation reviews, sometimes makeup tutorials and also get ready with me. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Today's video is going to be very laid back, chill video where I just sit here, talk to you guys as I apply my makeup. I went through my collection and dug out some of the products that I have neglected uh, in the past 3-4 to four months. I think I used them once or twice uh, and some of the products I know that I loved but kind of forgotten about them so I just wanted to dig back into my existing collection and you know try them out again in front of camera and as I go through them I'll also tell you guys like how I feel about them so yeah let's jump into the video now I'm just using some concealer to prime my eyelids I'm gonna start off with the eyes because I want to do something bold on my eyes today because you know I haven't worn like loud eye makeup in so long today I just want to go all out by the way, I use the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. Uh, I want to try this concealer out again because I think it's been a while since I used it. I like it but I don't know, I don't remember exactly how I felt about it. And for eyes, I want to use the Colourpop Associated Catching Lights Palette. This has so many pretty colours and for some reason, I haven't played around with it a lot. So I'll probably... Uh, stick to blues here, but you know, there are so many colors that I want to use today. This green here, this green here, but you know, I, I'm gonna stick to the blue today and we'll see what I can get out of it. So, how are you guys holding up? Uh, where do you live? Like, do you have in place shelter? I live in California, uh, Bay Area, and we have had, I think, our, our in place shelter started on March 16 and it's gonna go on till May 1st. So are you guys doing, I mean, does your state have mandatory in-place shelter as well or you're just working from home, you know, being a responsible citizen and not going out? If you are, like, how is that going for you? First, I'm taking the shade You Are A Gem and applying that all over my crease. For me, you know, uh, I don't mind working from home as long as I have a company. <laughs> If I'm alone working from home, uh, it just feels very depressing for some reason. To me, I'll be like on my on the couch all the time and uh, won't do anything productive. But since my husband is also working from home, I'm actually liking it a little bit because ever since we moved to Bay Area, I mean, I, I, mean, I see him every day but not as often as I used to because two hours of his day he spends in traffic. So even though like, you know, we are in such a bad situation, I'm just trying to look at the positive side that I'm getting to spend more time with him throughout the day. And then since, you know, we are home and we are getting a little bit more time to cook as well. All the time you would use to come here to work, that's a little bit extra in your day to use. So I have been baking a lot. I think for the first time uh, during this whole time, I baked a pizza. First time it was really good. And yeah, I've been into baking pizza. I don't know, for some reason when you're home, and watching a movie on a weekend, pizza is the first thing that comes to my mind. And we didn't want to go out and uh, buy a pizza. So I, I baked one at home and I really loved how it turned out. So are you guys into baking? Are you doing anything different than you normally do since, you know, you're at home and you have some extra time to kill? Let me know. And the recipe I tried... I think uh, it's, the channel is called Divas Can Cook. I will link uh, the uh, video down below if you guys want to try. It's very easy to make. It's my first time and I, I want to say I'm a very beginner to baking. And actually it turned out pretty good. So if you guys want to try, I will leave the link to that uh, pizza video in the description box down below. So I applied that shade all over my crease and then I'm going to take the shade turquoise and apply that in my socket. I'm also curious to know what kind of jobs you do and you know your line of work does it allow you to do work from home. For me I'm a software developer so for me uh, it's actually you know not that difficult staying at home and work we can get remote connections to everything so yeah I, I, I think working from home hasn't changed my routine a whole lot um, weekends like I'm usually filming and then weekdays Monday through Friday I you know have office work 
What about you guys? Also, by the way, have you been able to get your hands on a sheet of toilet papers? We are out of them. And we didn't buy it before, you know, this whole thing started because, I don't know, uh, I felt like it was so unnecessary to stock up on toilet papers and, you know, not have them available for people who actually need them. Running out of toilet papers. We borrowed some from my cousin a few weeks back. We, uh, those are the only things we have right now. But with, soon, we are going to be out of toilet papers. And before the place shelter started, we kind of like got all the groceries. For me, tomatoes are the main thing. Like no matter what Indian curry I do, tomatoes go in first. So we kind of got some extra tomatoes and we kind of froze them uh, for, you know, at least two to three weeks so that we don't have to go out for grocery shopping all that much. But we should have stocked up on some toilet papers as well. I did not know that situation was going to be this bad. Sometimes my husband still goes out uh, just for groceries, just for vegetables once in a while but we try to avoid going out or going to you know public places as much as possible we just go out in the neighborhood in our community just to walk just so that we can see outside world but you know other than that it's just me and my husband for the past two, three weeks so i kind of want to go for a halo eye so i'm going to place that blue in my inner and outer corners as well hey i just realized this blue matches my background really well nice Maybe subconsciously, that's why I decided to go with blues today. Who knows? So while you're at it, I'm going to apply that blue all over my lash line as well. So what is your, you know, if you were to do colorful eyeshadow looks, what is the color you go for? Do you like to match it to your outfit or, you know, you just like dark colors so that you can smoke it out and bring more attention to your eyes? What is your favorite, you know, go-to colorful eye makeup look? I would love to know. So please let me know in the comments down below. If I were to go with color, maybe dark blues is something I would go for. And I feel like berry tones also, you know, match my complexion really well. So either berries or blues. Uh, those are the two colorful uh, eyeshadows I might go for. But my go-to eye makeup preference would be a good bronzy smoky eye. Now I'm going to take the shade Aquamarine and apply it wherever I left the lid bare. Ooh, that is nice. Then I'm going to take the shade Onyx. It's like a deep blue with uh, silver specks all over it. So I'm gonna build that up in my inner and outer corners just to add some extra depth to the eyeshadow look. These eyeshadows blend really nicely. They're layering really well on top of each other. I think that looks really nice. What do you guys think? Too blue? Looks like it's giving me mermaid vibes. Then I'm going to take the shade Stoned. It's like a deep grey. Just want to add some definition in the outer weave. And closer to the lash line. I think I'm gonna use one of the pressed glitters here as well. To be honest, I'm not like a big fan of the Colourpop pressed glitter. They're a little bit too chunky for my liking. But I'm still going to try it. I'm just going to pat on top of that blue eyeshadow. I'm going to take Onyx and apply this closer to my lash line. I also wanted to ask, do you have kids at home? If so, how are you handling them? I'm, I'm sure like it's a lot tougher on parents because you know you obviously have to work from home and then also take care of your kids. My sister has one boy, he's a toddler, he's three years old now. He has a lot to take and she's, <laughs> she's having a difficulty like dealing with it. Some days he's nice, he plays by himself but some days he needs constant attention which is even difficult for her because uh, she's also a full-time uh, employee. So I think eyes are done. Uh, I'll apply some mascara. I'm using my Essence Mascara. I don't have anything new one to try out. I like this mascara because it uh, separates my lashes really well. It gives me volume. Uh, I don't prefer length to my lashes because they're very lengthy when I open my eyes. Uh, they tend to touch my crease and, you know, leave spots there. I don't like uh, a lengthening mascara. I prefer volumizing one and this has been really good. But the only downside to this is that even if I go to a little bit of workout, even if I sweat a little bit, kind of smudges everywhere. Uh, so I want to try out like, you know, any of your favorite mascaras next because I think I'm almost at the end of 
three months using this mascara so i want to try out a new one so let me know in the comments down below preferably a drugstore one so what's your favorite mascara i decided to try out essence because you know tanuja here on youtube raves about these mascaras and you know a lot of people say good things about essence mascara so that's why uh, i wanted to try it out and i do love this mascara but i want to try out something different next I definitely had some fallout from those eyeshadows, so I'm just taking a wipe and just dusting it away. And I want to reapply my moisturizer here. First, I'm going to do some uh, concealing. Uh, I'm taking the same Milani concealer I used on my eyelids. This is the shade Warm Beige, and I'm going to mainly use this to conceal any darkness underneath the eyes and then I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer to brighten things up later once I apply my foundation. So just here, a little bit here. And using my damp beauty blender for this. I also want to ask you guys, what is your current favorite TV show that you're watching on Netflix or Amazon Prime? You know, one problem is that I want to start a new TV show but my husband is always against it. Because we get hooked and then <laughs> we just have uh, sleepless nights because we'll keep watching it till 1, 2 o'clock when we get hooked. So that's why we try to avoid starting new shows. So that's why we are re-watching that 70s show. Uh, it's like a sitcom that is set in the, uh, you know, 70s in USA. It's nice. It's like a good, you know, run in the background kind of TV show. But I have been wanting to start like a new... Uh, English TV show. I usually avoid it because you know they have like seasons, four seasons, five seasons and if I get addicted I, I kind of like you know get hooked to it and unless I finish all the seasons I will not stop. So that's like one the main problem with me. <laughs> so that's why I tend to avoid new TV shows and I watch a lot of Korean dramas because they just have 20 episodes and no seasons after that. 20 or 16 episodes, one season and then you're done. You're done with the series. So that's why I prefer them. Like even if I get hooked, 20 episodes is not a lot. Like you, you can be done. Like even if I binge watch it, I'll be done with it in like two days. So that's why I usually prefer to watch Korean shows and I also love them a lot. Uh, there are a few uh, on Netflix right now. Uh, recently I watched like a couple of them and I really loved two of them. First thing is Crash Landing on You. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the names in the description box down below. It's like a very, you know, pleasant romantic comedy, I want to say. Uh, you know, at times like these, we could use TV shows like that. Because they're just very pleasant and, you know, they just put you in a good mood. So that's one of the shows I watched and I loved it. And then I also started and finished uh, Itaewon Class. That is also really nice. It's very inspirational. So I will leave names of those two in the description box down below if you want to try out <laughs> watching Korean dramas. I think I have been watching Korean dramas since uh, I was in my third year of undergrad. Yeah, third year. So it's been like, almost six years now. So sometimes I do understand what they say even without subtitles. <laughs> Also, let me know like what other TV shows you are enjoying right now, like or any movies that I should check out on Netflix or Amazon Prime. Please let me know in the comments down below. And back to makeup, uh, I want to try out my Milani foundation again. Uh, I did a review on this. I will link that channel down below if you guys want to see the full wear test and all of that. I like it. I really like it. I used like, you know, two to three times after that. But I felt like... It can be a little bit drying if you have, you know, dry skin. Uh, so I want to mix this in with the Flower Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir and see how it works. I usually mix two shades in this foundation. One is 330 and one is 370 to get my perfect shade. So I'm going to add this on the back of my hand, mixture of these two and then the Flower Beauty Elixir. Like it's a really natural looking foundation. It gives like, I want to say medium coverage. The foundation on its own, it's fragrance free and alcohol free. That's one of the reasons why I like it. Even though it's a little bit drying, I want to make it work because it's hard for me to find foundations from the drugstore especially that are fragrance free. This feels very lightweight on the skin as well. That's why I really like it. Instead of like asking about your favorite foundation, I want to know what is the best shade match you found like so far in foundations. I know it's really hard to find a good foundation that matches your skin tone exactly. But, you know, if you have one, let me know in the comments down below. If, if you're closer to my skin tone, that would help me a lot. 
if I haven't tried it out yet, I want to try it out. See, that's one of the reasons why I tend to do a lot of foundation reviews on my channel because I know how hard it is to find a foundation that matches you exactly. So I want to give you guys like a lot of options you can try. So if not one, you can find your, you know, exact perfect shade in the other foundation. So that's the main goal of doing all those wear tests. So if you have a foundation, you think it's too thick for you, or if you think it's a little bit full coverage for your liking, try add in primers like these, like any of your beauty oils. They kind of shear them out and also give extra hydration to your skin. Then I'm going to do some contouring today. This is the Becca, uh, it's called Low Light Sculpting Perfect Hair. This is a perfect cool tone contour shade. Uh, I got this like last year sometime and I haven't gotten like much use out of this one and it is an expensive product. So I kind of wanted to bring it out. The reason why I stopped using it, so it's a little bit difficult to work with uh, and I feel like uh, powder bronzers or powder contours are a little bit quicker and it's way too cool tone for my liking as you can see but you know it does a really good job adding shadows. Then I'm going to use uh, this Cover FX uh, translucent light setting powder. I'm going to use this powder to set underneath my eyes and also my T-zone. Just tapping out any creases. This is one of those powders when I used it, I really liked it. But for some reason I never reach for it. Uh, probably because of the, you know, applicator, it kind of gets really messy. So I usually like go for my Charlotte Tilbury powder because it's very easy to use. It's a compact. So, but I wanted to use this powder again for today's video. Then for highlighter, I'm taking this Milani Sculpt with the light. Uh, I'm taking the middle shade right here and hit the high points of my face. It's one of my favorite highlighters. She said I've been using some other highlighters, so I wanted to reach for this again. Then for blush, uh, I'm taking the Frag Boy. Uh, this is from the Balm Cosmetics. I used to love this blush a lot, but then I kind of stopped using it. So I wanted to, you know, use it again today. It's a nice, beautiful, you know, true pinky blush. And one more thing I've been like you know wanting to know from you guys is it the what is that one video through which you found me like what's the you know how did you come to know that you know I existed which video is it I'm curious to know I feel like uh, most of my subscribers are through my foundation reviews uh, yeah let me know if it's a foundation review which foundation it is or if it's some other video that I did that you found me then for lips, uh, I'm using the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Teacher's Pet. I feel like this lipstick would be a really good match for the whole makeup. Oh my god, look at that highlighter, you guys. It is so beautiful. And even in person, it does not look chunky or little. That's the kind of highlighter I like. That's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think of this blue and the color combo. I think the color combo is nice, but I just want to know if it, like, you know, suits me. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But today I'm really happy because, you know, I just wanted to dive into my existing makeup instead of, like, you know, buying new things. And I really hope this video kind of inspires you to dig into your own collection and, you know, look at things that you could be using and getting a lot of use out of instead of, like, you know, buying new makeup. Especially in the conditions we are in, you don't need to buy new makeup. I'm sure whatever you're looking for, you already have it. So out of everything that I tried, I think I really love the combination of the foundation and the primer oil. I definitely had to set my T-zone uh, with powder because it's looking a little bit shiny in this area and I don't usually like to have shine in that area. And the Becca one at first, I thought it was really cool toned. But if you look at uh, like, you know, the face structure, it, I feel like it added a beautiful shadow and it doesn't look like a stripe. It blended beautifully for a cream product. I actually, you know, I think I should use this more, especially when I'm going for that sculpted jawline look. Why not for extreme glam makeup? Because this is expensive and I plan to make a use out of it. And the Cover FX powder is also really good. Uh, it doesn't like, you know, overly mattify your skin and doesn't feel powdery and heavy. I should 
keep using this one more and the palette i really love like whatever eyeshadows that i used earlier and the eyeshadows that i use today they all perform really well there is no patchiness they layer beautifully and they blend out really well i like this eyeshadow palette and i should you know keep this on my vanity and try using it more and more uh, but you know uh, when i think of this palette i think of colors like you know there are so many colorful eyeshadows in this uh, i could probably get natural looks using you know the top eyeshadows here uh but you know when i think of this palette it's more for colorful looks and right now i'm not going anywhere and i don't know if i want to wear uh, colorful looks that i'm not filming uh, for day to day but still like you know i'm glad i took out this palette because the eyeshadows are really beautiful they blend out really beautiful next time i'll probably use these greens and this eyeshadow right here because i don't think i own anything like this in my collection it's like uh, such a beautiful bronzy but there is a little bit of green in there I'm I'm excited to use this eyeshadow palette even more. And what else did I try today? The Balm one is a beautiful blush. I just wanted to reuse it. I love the formula of uh, Balm face products, like you know, cheap products, especially their bronzers, blushes are really good. So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you get out of your boredom or inspired you in some way to you know get creative. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. please hit the like button so i will know that you enjoy these kinds of videos and i can continue to make them on my channel uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next one bye